Don't fall into this data abyss. Many organizations are impatient to jump into machine learning, but it's best to think this through. There are three parts to machine learning, the data, the algorithms, and the machines. The algorithms and the machines can be provided by any one of the many partner companies, including Amazon and Google. But the data to train these machines have to come from your organization. And hence, the data is the most important and is your organization's competitive advantage. First, of course, you have to have enough data and the right kind of data to feed into your algorithms. Let's assume that you have that. Here's where it is important to think through what you're doing with machine learning. Say you run a retail store selling groceries. Say your store is open 24 hours a day and you have data about when your customers visit and how much they spend. You might want to look at this data to have a machine figure out when to open the store for business. So you feed this data into a machine learning algorithm and figure out that most business is in the mid morning and late afternoons, something like this. Based on this result, you figure that you might want to close the store during the non-busy hours. That's what your machine learning algorithm told you. And that's great. Now, fast forward about three years out, the economy has changed. Now many people don't hold nine to five jobs, rather they have much more flexible schedules. So they would prefer to shop late at night when they can get their shopping done and out of the way so that they could do more important things during the day. Well, now you don't have any data covering the full 24 hour life cycle. So no machine learning algorithm can infer about this and give you an updated recommendation to keep your store open late at night. The machine cannot make up for the data that you lost. There are two lessons to learn from this example. One is to consider the use of machine learning strategically and for the long term. If not, you may not be able to get better for the long term. Two, human validation is important. In this case, humans can use knowledge about their environment, creativity, and educated guesses to hypothesize that opening the store late at night will help. At this time, machine learning is like what car navigation systems used to be a few years back. Even if it tells you to make a right turn when you'll end up going over a cliff, humans used common sense to override the system recommendation. The grocery store is a simple illustrative example and you don't need machine learning for this exercise. Simple spreadsheet analysis would do. But you can think of similar problems with many more dimensions of data where you will need machine learning. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing if you like this video.